one on YouTube it is Metal Bro back with day 27 of the race level 300. As you can see, I'm digging myself a nice little hole, and you know, I basically managed to collapse this uh, overnight. Did mo was doing a bit of crafting. Oh, that's a that's a dire wolf! Holy crap! Did not expect a dire wolf to be coming through. I'm just gonna shoot you up a little bit. But yeah, just working on the horde base and. Well, um, I don't like doing this to you guys, but there, this might be a bit of a building episode because this is only one side of it being dug out, and like, I'll try to keep it on the light side of building, like, you know, like that way you're not bored to death. But it's like, kind of one of those. I'm like, I want to get at least one side dug out for for um, building, just so I can let's say that you know. Tell the guys that, you know, we're not completely, we're not completely dead, so, yeah, it's one of those I'm just kind of like, I don't like doing this to you, but it's like, sometimes it's mandatory to do this. Basically, I'm trying to mine out a little, I want to get some staircase mined out quick. I got my roll 5 uh, miner outfit on to help ease the pains of um, getting through this like with the stamina. I put an ergo grip in one of the ergo grips I bought from Trier Joel from the last episode in, so it's like basically I'm losing like no stamina on my pickaxe. And like the uh, the minor outfits helping with the steel shovel to not be uh, not so taxing on it. So, I think going to time lapse till about 10 o'clock in the morning. Try to get as much of this done as possible, and then like I'll try to do more overnight. Yeah, you know, like just kind of one of those. It's like I have to chip away at this work before before night, yo. Know, because I would like I say I want to actually survive, and this is kind of part of my plan for it. Not actually going to put like you know, blocks in really because like I think we should be okay for a day 28 horde night. So I'm gonna so let me begin the time lapse and we'll tune once it's 10 o'clock in the morning. All right, everybody. It's only a couple of men game minutes till 10 o'clock here. I'm just gonna finish up digging this little line in the trench. I actually ran out of stamina because I'm dehydrated. That's because of my shovel not having ergonomic grip on, but can make see made some good progress on the on the second little trench here. Just jump over here. 
And, you know, got the uh, first trench basically set up. Oh, I almost got here. Go ahead, just clean this up really quick as I'm talking. The... The second one, probably gonna put in at least some cobblestone stairs for the, uh, you know, just, just in case zombies feel a little frisky and want to have a hug. There we go. Perfect. But it's like, can see where I'm kind of go with this. This is kind of meant to, really meant to just kind of start, you kind of help stop zombies from going into break everything mode and and if you notice in a little time lapse, which was going, which is going to be sped up to like 8x maximum I can do. The uh, had a couple dire wolves at a baby bear spot. Well, <laughs> have a talk with me. Level 89, four skill points spent. I wanted to kind of speed up to the maximum, like which is usually like double what I do for time lapses, because uh, like I don't want to have you guys being bored, so. Lightning hands we'll invest into points we have salesman we need intellect level five we could do intellect level four and get slightly more duke said daring adventure and so yeah direwolves kind of scared me a little bit like because i'm like you know i'm just mining away not really worried about like anything like that Good progress, and we're gonna drive right back over to base. As you can see, I decided to um, I decided to set my motorcycle to green. I'm like, I'm typically a big blue fan, but this green I really like. If it's the right kind of green, I really like a bright green, especially with darker colors. Those only like, kind. Of, it's like, uh, I like the color contrast on this, it's like, I think it was in New Era, I had it as blue, and then, uh, in my casual world I have it set to red, it's like, I like to have a little bit of spice on me. We're already back at base, and, well, you know, just to check on steel and all that, on all that jazz for motorcycles but as well as so I got two more chassis crafted I just needed another handlebars I've ran out of wood in you so we're just gonna slap that in there we're just gonna give it like a full day of fuel and just give it a little bit extra just so we get a full day and make more steel out of you Two more chassis, and thanks to that kind of construction project, we're getting a lot of stone out of this. I forgot that, like, you know, because of the loot from Dire Wolves, we got a couple shotgun weekly books. Pump shotgun quality five is unlocked. We have unlocked first aid kits for all that, and we'll just throw in that shotgun. That's the weapons box, not the, not the book box. Silly me. Throw you in, and oh, I forgot about. My bad, I forgot about, forgot about all this. Just give it a, a little, give it a little bit of fuel because I was making more water for. Making more water for, for glue and duct tape. I, I forget about that limit so much. It's like I wish you could have a bigger crafting cube. So since you're making more water, we're going to make more. The other one's making more water. We're going to work on more glue. Which means I'm going to have to get even more. Um, get even more cloth going just so I can work on another motorcycle chassis, well, motorcycle handlebars, so. Yeah, I'd say we're looking, we're looking okay. If I keep, keep up that horde base progress overnight, you know, be ready for, be ready for the next horde. 
And before I absolutely forget, let me also just not that, but throw kind of just scrap a lot of this old tier four armor. But we have a tier six M60. That's why I was wanting to come back here, aside from like magic stuff. So you're doing. Let's just modify you really quick. Take your take your mods out. You're doing 81.8 for a versus 86.8. So good damage upgrade for the M60. No, stay there. And right, you had rat remover in you. And I think I have one more mod I could throw into the M60. I can't throw full auto mods for they won't let you do it. Can I throw a 2x into the M60? Um, I can. Actually, let's take a look at it really quick to see what what M60 with a 2x looks like. That's that's a little unusual. But I also notice there's a red dot. So I'm going to pull out of the... I'm just going to put you back in. I, I figured just kind of look at it for a little bit of experimenting. The red dot, that's what it is. Let me check other modifications. Laser sight, retracting stock, I could probably do that, but... Or I could do a barrel extender or a suppressor. But we'll just throw you in. And... Before I forgot, I almost forgot about the red die in the M60. Oh, silly, silly me. There we go, there's our M60. And... It would be nice if the, if the front and rear sights had not... Did not, uh, block the red dot, but... Who am I to judge? I could bear it because it has more, because it gives me a damage, a damage bonus, so I'm not gonna complain about it too much. Throw you in, and we'll throw the sub 60s back in. It's nice to have my kind of ultimate weapon that I'm wanting. I'll just throw the tier four in for the for the others, you know, like. There's Zen and Krim when they come back, they can, unless like one only one comes back next time, uh, can argue over the, can argue over the M60, the tier 4 M60. I really don't care, they can, they can be toddlers for all I care and argue about it. Looking good on, looking good on money. Actually pull that stack out really quick. Just because, uh, basically takes up a stack in the M60. Uh, oh boy, the pain of this thing. I swear, if I could, I... This is one thing I... This is, like, coming from a standpoint of, like, of love for this game. And I... Please don't think this says me, like wine and just the wine, but I'm like, if I could do one thing about the, one thing about the game, you know, that I could want, I would take the, the, the not just like 762s or anything like that, I would take ammo in general and just turn it into a, and I would just make it stack to no limit, like, 10,000 rounds or something like that. <laughs> Is it realistic? No. Like, probably not. But I'm like, or better yet, for something like the M60, because the, like, to show what I'm saying here, is like, 9mm can stack up to 300. 762s can only stack up to level, like, well, stack up to half that, 150. Why? It's like, why do I have, like, for the M60, like, a belt fed mod, whole, like, a bottomless belt modification, kind of like, in a sense, like a super drum mag for the M60. 
It's just kind of, to me, I'm like... You know, the M60 would be... It would kind of make it even more fun. You like, you could just basically spray all you want by loading up like a thousand round belt. But just in general, I would just make it to where ammunition kind of stacks, so it does not have a limit to stacking. Just my two thoughts on it, because it gets annoying when like you have like do it like a tier six when you have so much ammo on you, and it just it just gets to a point where it's like you're just filled up with the ammo like give me like a stack of like 10,000 or like a stack limit of 10,000 or or like that you know like or 20,000 30,000 you know like however much you want to make it just make it less annoying on ammo stuff because like I have like to me it's like it's already dumb enough that you can't that you can't like utilize like pack mule and armor modifications together it's like pack mule, it's like is your inventory perk, you know, if you don't want to invest in armor mods. But it's kind of one of those, I'm like, if you're going to have armor mods and pack mule in the game, why not let me have, you know, why not let me expand my backpack even more into a, you know, like, kind of like make it worth to invest into pack mule for those who just want to be um, kind of like, you know, who want to hoard their stuff. But enough of that, guys. I'm going to go over to Trader Joel, and we're going to see where the first tier 5 is we're going to take. So I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, here, here we are riding up to Trader Joel's. Let's see what he has. Let me just whip the motorcycle around. I love doing that, just kind of... Like, if you get that just right, kind of like drifting the M like drifting the uh, motorcycle, it gets it becomes so much fun. I I just remembered that I forgot to take some stuff out car. Yep, I forgot some stuff. Not silly me, but and you know I say I'm going to go into Trigels to see what we got for a quest, but I'm like I realize like there's cars over here right across from Trigels and I could wrench them for, you know, scrap them for batteries, potentially. Speaking of, speaking of the double, and even more acid. So, I apologize for getting sidetracked. Just kind of what I was trying to think of the others and, you know, like, what they want for supplies and everything like that. Always got to think of the group, even when I'm just playing solo for a little bit. And knife guy book... Whew. I think we only got that's uh, a tier four battery. And well since I've since I've already kinda going on my little rampage over here ripping out all the cars, might as well just pull you apart too. I really like using my um my salvaging gloves just to get that extra gasoline bonus. Tier five battery. Of course. I'm trying to I'm trying to get low quality batteries and and the game's giving me high quality. a little tight. Armor mods might be just what you need. Um tier five. What do we have? I got work if you need dukes. Nabs Gang County Jail. Ooh. Never did anything. Are you looking to earn some Pop and Pills Factory? I, if done wasting my time. Wow. <laughs> Think of all the Tower. stuff you can buy. Can't. Never did it. Are you looking to earn Haven some Hotel? Laziness is the secret and I'd take the harder jobs. They Army Post number and seven. I get a bigger commission. You know what? Hey, Let's take Army Post number there. seven. It's to the west. It's like me and Zen have been one to take that on for a while, but it's kind of was I've had a I kind of have a little vendetta against Army Post number seven. It's taken me out a couple times, like in my casual world. So it's like, in a sense, it's kind of. A, you've messed around with me, and I'm going to, I'm going to mess you up. So, and I'm going to say this now. It's like, army post number seven. I take this on mostly as tier six. Tier tier six is um, the cream of the crop. It's like, and this POI is hard as a tier six. I can't remember if I've done this as tier five. 
Although, I still imagine there would be a lot of zombies. And if time is uh, forgiving with me, then we might even do... We might even do a tier... We might even go cars the treasure. Wouldn't take that long, but... So, we're already 200 meters out. What do you... You'll see the beast once here in just a second. Here she be. Army post number seven. As a tier six, I would argue this is one of the hardest POIs to clear in the game. But you'll see that once we get to tier six. This is tier five. Am I ready? I got beers. I... Okay, a little bit of a, a little bit of a jump there. We gotta get supplies. So come on in, zombies. Where you at? Hmm. Also, this place is a very good. I will say this now. I really like this POI. Like, even though I kind of have a little bit of vendetta, I was radiated. Um. This POI is very good for, for claw. Take care of you. Yeah. It's like, uh, cause the barracks have a lot of, have a lot of, um, I guess you call them bunk beds. Take care of you. And so they're really good if you have like a, if you're into uh, salvage operations and all that. Actually, before I forget, uh, I forgot that I slapped my gloves in there. It's a, it's a good, like, I really like coming here in my casual world because it's like you get a stack or two. Look at this. Ten. <laughs> Ten cloths for me out of this. It's like, keep in mind I am using a piece of armor that is boosting it. So. But it is really good. You can also get lots of... <laughs> springs and short iron pipes if you're in need of those. It is good just to kind of really get this with all the, you know, like a higher quality tool, but... Oh, Screamer. Probably a radiated one. Oh, hello. Not worried about you. Don't try to fire off too much. Come here. I am not surprised that there are some screamers hanging out around here. Let me take, let me just take care of them really quick. Run, come here. Take care of you. Oh, you guys just really felt like upsetting me today, huh? And see you later. Well, might as well just pull a beer out. I'll probably save most of the salvaging for after the POI. I kind of want to get through this quick, so... Come here, Mr. Army Man. Is this a water horse going running through here? No, it's probably because of Screamer. See you later. Come here. Infected. Come here. I almost feel like this is supposed to be like a screamer horde with a with a water horde running through. See you later. Like combination with the POI zombies. Come here, Spidey boy. And check the loot there. Lovely. Tier four city on knuckles. Not too bad. I think. They got woken up out of this one. And I just kind of not really follow the POI a little bit because of... Because of that. Pump shotgun quality 6. Sweet. Auto shotgun quality 1. See you later. I don't remember if there's one up in the tower. Yes, there is. I wasn't even doing that with my biker gloves, which increased my melee damage. Smack you, 8x. 
works. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna walk over and give me XP, you might as well you might as well give it to me. Come here. This is one of the POIs I talk about as like a tier six that can give you a ton, a ton of XP, like lots of it. And this is like me only using like without using like any nerd armor and like treasure hunter mod on it. I, like this, like I'll get like five levels. Come here. If you want to be, if you want to be, sue me about it. There you go. And smack you. Um, yeah, obviously more beds around here. Lots of lots of good stuff. Oh, be careful of this, they might explode. Ow. You do want to be a little bit careful here. And... Another level up, we're up to 90. Come here, guys. My beer's about to wear off. Oh, someone's gonna wander up here. Come here. I don't care about my broken arm. Punch you. Also get a little bit of gas and... You know, a couple army trucks outside, it's like... Another tier 5 steel knuckles. Hang on here. Let's see. I think... Mine are slightly better. Also, I can get a chance of getting an engine out of there, too. Oh. And grab you. Couple little books. But yeah, th this could be a real doozy to clean out. Like, probably gonna be a while, but... Yo, know, I want to show you guys this experience. Um, also... I hope I checked this guard. I know I didn't, but I hope somebody woke up up here. Nope. Okay. And check this guy up here, too. Let me, um. First aid kits are always good here. Nobody up here except for some food. And. Where are you? You also want to clear this building out, too. Smack you. Come here. I'll give you a hug. Come on. There you go. Check you out. And there's also some decent loot in the building itself. But I'm not going to bother with that zombie outside. You ain't part of the POI. I ain't worried about you. Take care of you. Rad biker. Uh, we'll break you out. You can stop hitting me so hard, though. That would be great. Come here. There we go. I think that might have been my, uh, my uh, bonus damage popping from the seventh curse, which means every seventh hit I can deal with, like extra 300% damage. Weapons bag in there. I just kind of go through and clean out the, clean out all the tower, you know, clean out all the towers and, come here, you know, clean out the whole outside first, it's like, I don't know if that's how you're meant to, but it's how I do it, just so I don't miss anybody. Yeah, you don't need an arm. Give me some meds, actually can clear that out for you. And medical some feral whites. Um, I'm gonna pull out the M60 just for this. Kind of was late game. I really like to try to. I wouldn't say we're quite in the late game yet, though. I like to try to use the M60 as a. How do I say like a? Um, when things go sideways, fam. 
It's like, it's just great for crowd control. Ow. And I just kind of use the doors as, like, barricades, and it usually takes good care of them. See you later. That's when I'm kind of, like, really getting oppressed by zombies, though. Come here. Go down, please. There you go, finally. More paper, more... More general loot in there. Um, I'll just read some of these books, and... There we go. Read that up, and... We've unlocked wrench quality six. Of course, more in here. See you later, and... See you later. And... All these zombies get... Get the free smackies. But yeah, you also got this little bit, and then you got like a motor pool to clean out. Come on, come on. See you, see you. And lots of zombies. There's some up here. As you can see, a lot of XP coming in, like, because you're dealing with bigger zombies like Radiators and, and Feral Soldiers. There you go. Deal with that face. But yeah, there's even more zombies in, than the, in the infestation, like, on the outside. But yeah, I can tell you we're probably not going to be getting this done by nightfall because of because this thing is kind of ridiculous. Oh, hi! You're not part of the POI, but your XP all the same. There's gonna be even more. Getting into the big building, this can cause some frame rates, so you are warned. There's some zombies here, so I'm gonna try to punch Big Mama. Well, I was gonna try to sneak up on one. See you later, Tony Fatoni. See you later. Take care of Mr. Farrell over here. There's even more of them. Give you a nice little punch in the face and gotta give them a little 60 treatment. We got another level up to 91. Like this is only like two levels from this POI, so. There you go. And you know, like, well, I was about to do a tier 5 today, I was like, mm, you know, like, go for something good, and I'm like, army post number 7, sure, why not? We're not actually supposed to go through here. Not there. We're actually supposed to go up the elevator shaft. That's starting to get a little framey, but... Where are you? There's more zombies up here. See you later. There could be a... there will be a lot. Ow. Ow. I'm gonna run backwards a little bit just to... Just to try to... Give myself a stopgap between the zombies and... I'm gonna drink a beer here real quick. Ow. That's if these guys stop punching me. It's... I wanna say this. Like, with this POI, I'd never feel bad about retreating. Don't feel bad. I forgot these guys will jump out, though. Come here. Don't feel bad about it, and also bring more ammunition. Unlike me. See you later. Um... Got more of them. I know I'm supposed to be brawling because of my beer, but... Sometimes M60 just is the best... Best course of action. Go and there you go. I think everybody is down. See, so just run that chain. Fifty-four thousand XP. 
you see why like I, why I like coming through here for for XP, especially like on a infestation version. Just good levels. I think there's even more to clear out on the roof. I like to run around here just to be certain. Because I think there's a couple birds up top. Just one of those, be careful with this POI. Yeah, there's another staircase up here. Try to utilize my beer to the to the most advantage possible. You can see there's even more here. There's just there's just lots of zombies. Now, run past this guy and. You will be getting um, soldiers thrown at you, left, right, and center. And fall down a little bit, that's okay. And give you. Yeah, lots of radiators. Like. I will say, try to avoid this POI if you can avoid it as a regular tier 5, just go for it. Just go in for infestation if you if you want to take this on, because then you at least get get some ammo back from the from the cash. Get you and come here. Like I say, I have I have a lot of experience with this POI, but it's like just I cannot ever say it enough. Just be careful, but. Come here. See you. And... See you later. And there you go. You are dead, and it's almost nighttime. Just run up here really quick after taking one more med kit. Restock the ammo a little bit into my lock slots. Um. Oh. Couple more zombies around here. There is just like a lifetime uh, uh, supply of zombies, so I guess it kind of this kind of null and voids my plan of like uh, one to do more board base work, but nah, this PLI is fun. Jump down a little bit because I would say don't do it unless you have parkour though. Now this. This can be a real hard fight, so just because of all the zombies here, so it you know I'd say like bring recog for this, so just because like you want some damage, there's lots of zombies, like infestation you will be sworn if like I like using this um auto shotgun. Doggy. I think that was pretty much most of them taken care of. A couple books. Looks like we got our, got our supplies nearby, so let's actually not forget it and we'll bust this out. I should have caught it. But, um. Great. I have to. I have to run to. I think it might be. No, wait. We'll run into it later. There might be even more zombies around here, so. Try to get a sneak shot here. There's even more zombies. Try to keep up a little bit here. Um, using 60 some more. And. There you go. A little bit more. A little bit more meat shielding. 
And check that really quick. Another tier 5 nerd armor. Lovely. Clear the bathrooms for this. You know, a little bit more cloth, but... This is... You can also find books in here. Make sure I just kind of run through. And... Then you basically just kind of run through here. You circle around. This is... This is another kind of big boss battle, so... What kind of big battle? There's lots of big battles in here. Oh boy. Nope, nope, no, no, no. We're just gonna walk backwards a little bit. and Because all the zombies there. And... Doesn't help that I'm reloading really slowly, but... Try to take out as many as possible with the door. I'm gonna try to back through here really quickly. And... Take care of Annie. And... Probably another... Yep, you're still alive. So, we're just gonna... Thank you. Just go... Just go... Go away, please. <sighs> we are starting to get to the end of it. Just a lot more bodies. One second while I restart record. Alright. Just wanted to restart just in case I went over an hour or so before you guys. Look at this. They will not let up. Shut up. Um, we'll just throw you in there for trying to lock up some slots. And check on some food really quick. Some good food in there. Kitchen we're coming up on. Oh, this really sucks with a with a um, broken leg, but try and take care of these guys. Try and. There we go. Kind of was a, if I would try to use the knuckles when at all possible, but it's just kind of like it gets a little. Sometimes the knuckles can't get, can't do everything. Broken workbench. And wait a minute. There's need to check for those supplies. It's in here. There we are. Courier satchel. Um, drop the cornmeal and the plant fibers and not so needed stuff. Um, get me up here, please. Thank you. There we are. So as long as we clear this, we're good. <laughs> Let's see. There will be even more around. Not in this area, well not in this room, but just more medical supplies, not going to worry about that too much. There's even more zombies here. Yep. Take care of you. And I'm sure there's probably going to be more. Come here. Try to keep that uh that radiant biker smack around. Level well, we got another four skill points to spend. I'm actually gonna back up really quick. Just back up and and then beer. And there's a hole. Oh boy. Just jump over. Jump over and just take care of, try and take care of business. Shoot him up a little bit. Then 60 can save me. I'm 
not going down to to all these zombies. And take care of you. And there you go. That guy is down. Search the loot really quick. Just gonna start reading some books that I don't need, just so I can clean up a little bit of inventory. There we go. Oh, we're almost done with this. We are almost done. Like this place is almost done for for the job. Like clearing out zombies. Shut up. Like, I will beat you to death. Thank you. There is one more... Hey, you might notice, like... Like, oh, it says the area is not clear. Yeah, there is one more little area that I know of. There is more zombies in there. So... Ow. Try to get, try to get past here. I'm very lucky I crit that, crit that for a white. Like there is a couple more little sections here, like, but beware, like that is a hidden section of the of the POI that can trip people up. Kind of like as a little parting gift, I could, I guess you could say. Um, yep, there is still a bunch. Uh, get. Ah, crap. Let me just run a little bit. Try. And. Keep punching. Keep him, keep him back flipping. Sounds like there might be a zombie bear outside. I'm not exactly sure on that. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Please stop that. If I get taken down. Ow. If I get taken out, I will be a little annoyed. Let's try to let myself heal a little bit. <sighs> run, 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 run. Oh boy, I'm... Take another beer for that damage. And... Get off me. Take care of you. Big mama. And <laughs> there's a fifth level out of that. We gotta track down two more zombies and then we're done. Oh, where are you guys at? Because I am a little. Because I would like to be done with this POI. Uh, come here, guys. Take care of you, and... Alright. That is the job done. That is job done. So that is... So that is basically complete. And one thing I will say is... One last thing I will say before I decide to end off the episode here is... The infestation cache will spawn in this little area here, so if you're doing this on tier 6 infestation, then uh, just kind of take that into mind. But I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm going to show you the loot in the morning once daybreak hits, so if you made this far into the episode, uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. It helps the channel out oh so much. Turn on all notifications so you don't miss a video from me. Have a good one, and take care.